Monday morning. It is 8.55 right now. I'm Katherine Hauser. We'll check your top stories right after Pamela's forecast. Hi there, Pamela. Hi there. All the snow is out of here, although we're seeing some redevelopment of an isolated snow shower moving towards the Boston area, but the accumulation is over with. Some flurries linger in the forecast. We turn windy and we turn colder. High of 27 degrees, feeling like the upper teens at times. Overnight, dangerously low wind chill temperatures. With a low of 12, it will actually feel like below zero at times. We stay cold all week. Traffic and weather together. Roby? Pamela, very light volume out there now with only a few slowdowns, but we've had a ton of accidents this morning. The latest is down in Wareham. 495 southbound at I-95. We're seeing a stop and go back up to Route 58. Not a huge delay there yet. And then we have another accident down in Duxbury. Route 3 northbound just before Route 14. Total traffic network says a car has spun out into the median there. Catherine? Roby, thank you. Checking our top stories now. A hangar man is back home this morning, just two days after being released from an Iranian prison. 30-year-old Matthew Trevithwick was studying language at Tehran University. Iranian officials gave no reason as to why he was jailed for 40 days. His release is separate from a prisoner exchange brokered between the U.S. and Iran. A Chelsea woman is recovering this morning after she was brutally attacked and robbed while walking home from work. Police are looking for the three men who beat her around 9.30 Saturday night. The victim is in her 20s. She told police the men jumped her, kicked and slashed her, and took her belongings. There's an ongoing search for suspects in Auburn who shot out car windows on Rockland, Sumner, and Boy Streets. About 20 drivers reported their windows were blown out. Police believe they were shot out with a BB gun overnight. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Well, don't forget, you can check news 24-7 right on our website, cbsboston.com. And you can also check weather, too. And our next newscast is coming up for you today at noon. We hope to see you then. Here is a live look at snowy Boston.